1999, Columbine School Massacre. A lot of them chose to die as opposed to denying Jesus. The Bible says you have not yet resisted. In other words, the writer said, what, what you really? I say you want to give up for, wait, hold on. You really want to give up and yet you have never yet been beaten. You have never yet been persecuted. You have never yet been, um, you have to hide in a basket and then put you through a window like Paul to come down. My son, you must not ever make lightly of the discipline of the Lord. Solomon is giving us good encouragement. The writer is saying that some of what we go through, it's nothing more than God just disciplining us. It's nothing more than God strengthening us, building character in us. Any child that is born into privilege normally becomes spoiled. It's like the picture is this. When we think about God, this is us, and that's God. God, me want this, me want that, you know? So we are the bigger ones, and God, they're down there, so, and we are talking to him. But when you have discipline and God make you go through certain things, you realize, say, this is the picture, you know? Because now you recognize that you have to look up to him because you're subjected to him. You're not the big deal, he is. And that's why the Bible says we should not despise when God disciplines us. But the truth is, it beat the way you get, cause you and encourage you to not do that same thing again. So the Bible says that if the Lord loves you, then he's going to put you in order. He's going to rebuke you, sister right. But if you are live your life, and you just go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, sister Wellington, and at no point in time, God ever correct you. At no point in time, God ever tell us, you know, you, you, you go wrong there. So it simply means saying a busy about you. Now we know that God is love. But in the context of the scripture, it is saying he does not care about you. And we're speaking within the context of overall care. So saints, if you find, say, anybody ever have this yet? Maybe it to you. You see people do some things, and they might get away with it. And they just go on with their life, and they might do the wrong things, and they might get away. And you say, all right, you know what? Since then, do that and get away. Let me try it. Bam, I said, I am gone off. And I said, What on the man? Why? How come everybody else do it? And get away. See people, I always start about this. See people go to school late, jump fence. Then get you. The one time you choose to go jump fence, you'll get catch. It is saying that you're bound to be disciplined, but it is saying that if God cannot discipline you, it simply means you're not a son, you're a bastard child. I see some people sometimes men claim to be Christian. And you didn't know, say, some situation come up and the way them behave. Who? A warfare will come for. Who? You know we? You know we? When God who? Well, I, I, Jesus name will come and it blown again. So no, sometimes I wonder if he will say it and not did they say it. Oh God. My Lord. No, no, me bad, but you never have to behave so. You can imagine, sister, I behave Satan. Eve have to come and say, hi, hi. Hello. Calm down, man. You never have to behave so. And the same, some of them you drink, cuss. Same person you drink, drink. But now, some of them, they're in a church for a while, so they just adapt the church thing, but they have not yet been affected. So as soon as something come up, they're not going to tell you, sir. X, Y, Z, they now go tell you say this and that. You know, they're say, come kiss out my Bible. <laughs> yes, I went there. <laughs>